Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy on PC. Well, actually Daisy on my local PC server. Because in this video I want to show you how you can install the most excellent trader mod onto your local Daisy server. Um, so you can use it for um, single player um, Daisy or um, if you want to use it mainly for me like testing whether mods work. Um, unfortunately in this case not for future uploading for console but for uploading on PC. Um, but I guess also you could use it for things like um, uh, content creation um, and stuff like that. And if you're not aware of the Trader Mod, if you're new to Daisy, the Trader Mod is this amazing piece of work which uh, spawns in a couple of trader bases, one at Green Lap Mountain and this one which is, I'm going to say Kimerno, I've probably got that wrong, where you can talk to these NPCs and you give them money. Um, and they will sell you things or you can sell things to them and they will give you money and you can um, you can buy cars weapons food you can sell sell the same stuff as well um, and basically adds these um, trader posts in and you can add money into your uh, server as well that will spawn in so people can um, come and spend it <coughs> excuse me you got a little bit of a tickly throat superb um, and especially with trader you might want to do quite a bit of testing on it um, to test the balancing and stuff like that and that's why installing it on a local server could be could be very very useful indeed so without further ado let's exit from here and kind of in this video i'm assuming you've already set up a local server on your pc and you're familiar with uh, quite a few of the basics and we're just going to go through how you would install um trader so as with most things daisy and modding you want to go to steam you want to go to the workshop and you want to search for trader and you'll want to subscribe to it and that will start the mod downloading to your local version of DayZ on your local uh, PC. Um, now in the description below the mod there are some very very good instructions that basically tell you how to do everything as well so let's just go through some of them here as well. So start off let's uh, wander over and let's go to our DayZ folder on our computer now if you're never quite sure where your daisy folder is on your computer because inside your daisy folder you'll find your workshop folder which is where the mods end up being if you just go to um daisy oops if i press the right button and you go to the mods section in the launcher and then go to trader and click on this little arrow here then click on these little three dots here and say open folder in Windows Explorer and it will just give you a little bit of warning say look be careful don't change anything you'll break the game and you say okay I understand this will take you straight to the folder where all of your mods are for DayZ as you can see there's the trader mod so first thing we really want to do is we just really want to right click that we just want to copy that and then we want to find the uh, folder on your PC where your server is now it's probably in the same directory as DayZ so you can see mine there DayZ server and all we do is when we're in here we just right click and we would paste and as you can see I've already done it there's the trader mod in my local server let's go inside the trader mod and the first thing we want to do is we want to grab the key so right click daisy try to buy, buy key copy that go down to the keys for the server right click paste that in as you can see I've already got it excuse me I'm just gonna have a quick drink I've got a bit of tickly cough to do. that's better um, and the next thing we want to grab from the trader mod is the server profile folder. This is very important. If you don't do this bit, it won't work. So if we go in here, see what it says trader, you would right click, copy that. Go up to the main directory of our server. Now what we're looking for is the config folder. Now this isn't always config. Sometimes it's called settings. But inside it you'll find the battle eye um, folder and you'll also probably find lots of logs like crash logs and server logs and you right click there and you would paste and as you can see I've got that now within the trader folder these are the config files and the setup files for the trader mainly where we can change the, the price of things there's other things you can do as well that I won't be covering in this video it's mainly trader config that messes around with the price now the other thing we need to make sure is that the a batch file that we use to start our server um, starts it with the trader um, 
mod. So my batch file is here, which is start zombie admin. So I want to open that in Notepad++. And on my batch file, it's on this line here. And in fact, if we scroll back a bit, you'll see it here. That's the bit there where it says um, <coughs> quotation marks dash mod equals at trader semicolon at CF semicolon at zombie admin tools semicolon at walking dead zombie. So they're the one, two, three, they're the four mods I've got working on my local server at the moment. Now, the at trader mod uh, there, it's, un it's unusual in fact that it's at the front of the line. Excuse me, I'm going to burp now. Um, a lot of the time when you're putting mods in, they'll come after, for example, CF and your admin tools. Say you were using, uh, say, community online tools or you were using um, Daisy Expansion or something like that. Often the trade would be after. Now, in my case, I find it wouldn't, it didn't work when I did that. And they do warn you about this in the description below the mod on Steam. Um, so I found putting it at the front made the trader work. So then you would save that and then you would go to your batch file and you would just double click on that and then then it would fire up and the trader would then appear um, as i said it is at green mountain and at kumuna 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 something like that anyway that's the places they're the default places where it appears now i talked about changing prices if you go into the uh discussions is it let's have a look yeah if you go into the discussions tab on the trader You'll see there's a link for the trader price editor. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you scroll down, uh, I found I had to use the full version, but you can download that now. Use this at your own peril. Um, you know, it's a .exe, so very dangerous. Might have viruses and stuff like that in. I mean, I don't know, um, but make sure you know, you know use it at your own risk, basically. But when you've downloaded it, what you can do it pops up something like this, and you can say file open. And if you go to your Daisy server folder, so here's my Daisy server, um, go into the config folder, go into the trader folder, go into the trader config, open that, and you'll end up with this, which is a nice simple spreadsheet. Well, as you can see, we can go through and we can change the prices, the buy price and the sell prices of things pretty quickly. Now you can do it as well by going into Here we go. If you go into the uh, config folder on your server, go into trader, go into trader config, and open that up in Notepad++. You get the same thing. So you can see you've got the, the names of everything here, and then you've got the uh, um, buy price as well, the, the price that you would buy it at and the price that you would sell it at. So uh, the traders obviously buy stuff off you cheaper than they sell it back to you. Otherwise, you could make money just by selling stuff to them, couldn't you? Which, which, you, which you can't do. <laughs> and you've got to be careful as well with, that you don't change the prices so people could do that so that they can sell stuff um, for a more expensive price than they could buy it back, especially when it comes to things like bullets. Be very careful that you don't make it so that people can sell individual bullets back to the traders um, at a cheaper price or a more expensive price than it would cost them to buy a box of bullets and then split that box of bullets up. So, so be careful about that. So that's where you can uh, you can change that and you can adjust it to your heart's content. Now, the other thing is we talked about money, didn't we? And the fact that you've got to use rubles for for this mod, um, and we need to put the uh, rubles into the map if we want to. Now, what will happen is as you're trading with traders and you're selling stuff to them, they will give you rubles. You know, they'll give you money which you can then spend. Um, it will generate it. But what you want to do is you, you really want to put it into your into your um, server as well. So what we need to do is we need to go into our types.xml on our server um, and edit it. So here we are, run the server. We want to go into our MP missions folder, Chernerus Plus, DB folder, and you want to open up your types folder like so. Now, what I've done is on my um, GitHub, um, I've put in the snippet you will need to add rubles to your server. So I'll put a link to that in the description below the video. Um, so what you do is you follow that link 
and you can download the types of that XML. You can just copy it, and you would copy all the things here like that, and then you can put it right at the top. Just put a space under types. There we go. So we've added 100 ruble notes, 50 ruble notes. And what you would do is, I mean, nominal 150 of 10 ruble notes. Um, they're in, they're on shelves in towns and village and hunting. They're, they're classed as a tool. I mean, you could play around with this sort of thing. Should they be counted on, as a hoarder, counted on player? You know, you would play around. It all depends on the balance of, of your server. Maybe if you're running like a PvP server, you would have it so that people would spawn in with money. Um, so they could run to the trader and buy a weapon if they liked or something like that. But basically, you would you'd, you'd save that, and that that rubles would then start to spawn in in your world um, when you fired up your local Daisy server as well. Um, a couple of final things actually: the server not only the, the trading mod not only um, creates you know, the ability to trade, but also creates a safe zone around the trader so that people can't get killed and there's no zombies um that sort of stuff and finally as well i'd say is you know if you find the trader mod useful uh, dr jones's uh, mod useful make sure that you go over to his twitter and then you'll find his um paypal link you know and drop him a couple of bucks because this is one of the most popular mods in daisy and it definitely adds in my opinion it adds something um, very very interesting to daisy because it can it speeds up the whole looting process for servers that want that you know okay so maybe in the zombie apocalypse there, there wouldn't have been traders well actually i'll tell you what, in the zombie apocalypse i bet there, there there will be traders maybe they won't be trading everything so maybe one of the things you could do is if you had a hardcore server you would make things incredibly expensive and you would have the the amount of things that the trader could trade would be pretty small but it, it does give people a way of being able to get geared up and enjoy PvP or PvE much, much faster than just having to run around to Northwest Airfield, you know, or go to Tizzy and find, you know, a shotgun, you know, and then get into it that way. Um, and personally speaking as well, if you're listening Bohemian Interactive, if you want even more growth in um, uh, Console Daisy, buy this mod stick it on you know stick it into the console version people would lap up this mod it's incredibly well made it works very very well um and uh, console would would absolutely love it we would absolutely lo love to have this on 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 uh, on console so there we go that my friends is how you install the trader mod on your local daisy server hopefully you found that video useful if you have hit the like button if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon